Somebody come get her as she dancing like a stripper. Like, give it to me, baby. Dirty mind just fell. <laughs> I was like, yo, Trey, do you think you could buy me a bottle of rosé? Hello, you beautiful people. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a first impressions, trying some new makeup out. Um, excluding my eye makeup, this is Jeffree Star's Bloodless Palette. I've done a full tutorial on it. I will leave it linked down below if you want to go check it out. Then go watch it after this video. But I'm going to be doing a first impressions on some of the makeup goodies. We have Marc Jacobs, we have Mac, uh, Makeup Revolution. We have a load of goodies in this video. I just want to get straight into it and let's just get straight into the tutorial. If you are new here, by the way, I am Lucy Stevenson, but you can call me Luce because we're all friends here. If you are new, don't forget to hit subscribe and give this video a thumbs up so I know to do more of these in the future for you beautiful people um, and let's just get straight into the video I upload on Wednesdays Fridays and Sundays six o'clock UK time and let's just go so I'm gonna begin by trying the pixie glow mist with argan oil in it, it says it's a nourishing mist you can use it before your makeup and after your makeup so I'm gonna try it beforehand it says it says it's an all over face mist for glowing luminous and smooth complexion. Not really sure how a face mist is going to make you look smooth, but... Oh my god, that is an amazing mist. <laughs> it's just such a weird thing to say. So beforehand it says hydrates, protects and nourishes. I've got a new primer to try and I'm so excited to try this. This is the Revolution Pore Perfecting Primer. And let's open this bad boy up. It's one of the ones like the similar to the elf one, so it comes with the little spatula. I think it was ta the Tatcha one, Tatcha one. I don't know what it's called. And um, that came out first. So I'm just gonna scoop some of my little spatula. Ooh, that felt like it was way too much. <laughs> and put some. I know um, Emma Fleming really, really likes this. Um, but the e.l.f. one, I don't know if I've seen her try this one, I'm not sure. But I know she, I feel like I put way too much on. I know she really likes the e.l.f. one, so I thought, I'm going to give this one a try. And see what it's like. So it's meant to be a paw perfecting one. Let me get my e.l.f., my e.l.f., my little piggy uh, mirror out. I can't see my words out. So I'm just going to rub this in. It says it's a paw perfecting one, so we shall, we shall soon see, boys and girls. Please leave a comment down below and let me know what um is kind of new or like what is in the makeup world that you've not seen me try that you want me to try because I want to do more testing videos and I was definitely right I have put like way too much of this on so let me just rub all of this in <laughs> it definitely leaves like a white kind of cast over your skin um don't know where you know how I feel about that Oh my god, you can really tell though, can't you? Like, it's definitely left a white cast over my face. It's definitely minimised my pores, so like my pores just look airbrushed and really, really smooth. I I think I put too much on, that's why it's, sorry, just noxious. I think that's why it's such a white cast. Um, so I'm going to have to try that again and not put as much on. <laughs> but so far, so good. My, fin my skin feels lovely and smooth as well. For foundation, I'm going to be trying something that I bought so long ago to do a full um, foundation Friday on and I just haven't got around to doing it so we're going to do it at first impressions instead. This is the Anastasia Stick Foundation. I got this in TK Maxx for £9.95 instead of £25.50 and I got this shade Warm Natural and I'm actually going to be celebrating this first impressions video by opening a brand new beauty blender. <laughs> I'm not sure if my beauty blender is broke, but it's just been bleeding pink when I washed it for the first time. Is that normal? Has that ever happened to you before? Like, is this just me? Um, I really hope this foundation doesn't dry quickly because I am screwed, if so. I think, I think it's okay. <laughs> but yeah, it's just like full on bled out pink when I was like washing it, like dampening it for the first time. Like what? Okay, so first layer of that, not very impressed not gonna lie but i might not have put enough on i might have left it on the skin for too long so now i'm just gonna go ham and just put quite a bit on <laughs> just doesn't seem to like i don't know if it's because i'm using a sponge it just doesn't seem to like blend so i'm like put a drag in my face about but then i just find then it just gives me no coverage let me try like my stippling brush instead because i normally find if it doesn't work very well with a sponge a stippling brush kind of saves the day 
So let's see what this is like. I mean, even still, I'm having to like proper rub my face. Can you even buy this foundation anymore, by the way, since they brought out the liquid one? Because I'm not entirely sure. Okay, this foundation is just an absolute no go like absolute no go i'm not even gonna bother trying to put any more on um i've got a Too faced foundation that i recently got so this is the Too faced born this way foundation in the shade ivory and this one just blends out so much easier than the anastasia one does i found like it was a nice color and it was kind of it was eventually blending out with the um stippling brush but the coverage was just appalling for it i'm really hoping like the liquid one is so much better to plump my lips up, I'm going to go in with the Pixie by Petra, the Lip Lift Max in Petal Ice, just to plump, plump the girls up before we put um, my lipsticks on. Somebody come get her, she dancing like a stripper. So if I can see that, I'm so excited to try this. This is the Revolution Conceal and Define Infinite Long Wear Concealer. It's meant to be 20% more coverage than the... Um, the one the other found the other concealer of theirs kind of the name um i think sure it's just conceal and define again i think so um and this is just like the infinite version i got mine in the shade 0.05 c 0.05 so we shall see what this one is like i want like full coverage baby like give it to me baby so in regards to like the old original, not old, but like the original version of this concealer, I didn't mind it. It wasn't like my favourite. It wasn't really something that I reached for um, or like repurchased or anything. Like I'd never really got like the hype hype. Like I, I liked it. I didn't mind it. But I didn't get like the hype hype that I feel like everybody else kind of got with it. So I wonder if I get on this hype because I find that I don't really get on many hypes. <laughs> I'm going to put a little bit. Just a little bit on my forehead and on my chinny chin chin. I feel like I have a big chin so I really put like too much effort into my chin. Um, but I'm going to leave that to dry a little bit and I think I might just shove something on my brows and I'll see you in a minute. So I've left it to dry a little bit because I found that normally gives you, oh my god, more coverage. But it doesn't seem to be blending out the best. <laughs> Which is my own fault for leaving it. Wow, the coverage on this is amazing. And like normally I leave my concealer to like dry a little bit. Well, you don't even need to do that with this because like it's already starting to like set itself. So you don't even need to leave it to dry to get the coverage because the coverage like seems to be already there. So this is what it's looking like. I'm going to add just a little bit underneath, like I mean like the tiniest bit underneath my eyes. And I'm literally going to blend it straight away. <laughs> Wow, that is pigmented. Wow. <laughs> For powder all over my face, I'm going to try this Marc Jacobs one. This is the Invisible Finish Line Perfecting um, Coconut Setting Powder. I was going to use this all over my face. Um, however, I think it's going to be a bit too dark for my under eyes. I think it's just going to darken them back up after I've obviously just lightened them. So I'm literally just going to tap this all over with my sponge to set my face in place. And that powder is like actually beautiful. My skin just looks like baby soft <laughs> as well. For underneath the eyes, I'm gonna try, which I've been using recently, but obviously not with this concealer, the I Heart Revolution Coconut Scented Baking Powder. And I'm just gonna use a sponge again for this. So my only thing about this powder is it is really brightening, but when I put it on, I feel like, like, I don't know, like I'm, I don't know, it just feels weird. It's nothing like a powder I've ever put on before. It's as if, like, I'm trying to set something that's, like, really, really, really wet and it's not ready to be set. And I've tried different concealers and stuff with it and it seems to happen with all of them and it makes me feel like I've got a thick, cakey, gross mess on my face. I don't know what it is. Um, and I really, really wanted to love it because, like, obviously I thought it might be in the concealers that I was trying and I wanted to love it because I saw, like, Emma Fleming, like, absolutely, like, rave about it but it's just i don't know it feels like i need to like crack my face i don't know it's weird i'm gonna keep trying it though as always i'm gonna go in with my um, mac mirai skin finish in dark tan to add a bit of bronze to my face um i don't know if i need to try that 
coconut powder without a sponge. Um, maybe it's like the wetness of the sponge that's making it feel icky. It feels like, do when you've got like a face mask on and some bits have dried and some bits haven't, it feels like that. I don't know, it feels weird. For blush, I'm gonna go on with this Primark one. This isn't a new one, but I just thought I'd show you what kind of stuff I'm using to finish off my face. This is the PS Blush in the shade Drama. It only costs £1.50. It's such a nice colour. I thought it might kind of tie in um, the kind of purple eyes a little bit. Ooh, I always forget how pigmented this is. Because that's looking a little bit better, but oh my god, that went so bad. Let's put some highlighter on this because, like, can this actually get any worse <laughs> as always i'm going in my baby this is the um doll beauty doll light like a diamond highlighter just looks like this i love this so much mine's like completely breaking now <laughs> this highlighter was just stunning so moving on to probably the thing that I get asked the most recently is what lipstick I'm wearing. So I'm going to go in with a brand new lip liner that I got from town yesterday. This is the MAC Cork lip liner. I was in there looking at cork and looking at oak and I got told that um, oak, um, that cork's getting discontinued so get it while you can. So I picked up cork. Um, sounds like I said something else said. I picked up cork. You dirty man, just film. <laughs> um, and I'm just going to outline my lips because then we're going to go in with a lighter colour. It looks crazy at the moment. Trust the process, baby. Trust the process. <laughs> I'm going to take a Max Satin Lipstick in the shade Fletch Pot, um, which just looks like this. And I'm going to put this in the middle of the lip and kind of blend it all together. And then to top it off even more, <laughs> um, yes, there's another step. I'm going to use the Doll Beauty um, lip gloss. This is the hashtag Insta Famous. So sometimes when you ask me like what I have on my lips, this is why I don't know sometimes because I put too many things on. And then see if I don't like it, then I'll mix another lipstick in and it'll be like a totally different concoction. But I'm going to put some of this in the center of the lips again. And this is what it looks like at the end, lipstick wise. For lashes, I'm gonna try something new. I was gonna put on my normal ones that I like to go for at the moment, the unicorn lashes. I think the apple sours, but I'm gonna try these ones instead. These are from Primark, um, the, the 3D iconic ones for two pound. Uh, and going in with my House of Lashes um, lash glue. Whilst I'm gonna kind of set that up ready to go, we're gonna have a little try of this bad boy. This is the PS Prime and Perfect um Prime and Infuse Instant Hydration Priming Spray from Primark costs three quid. Just looks like this, but this looks exactly like MAC Fix Plus, which is why I was like, what the hell? And um, the mist it looks the same, the packaging, everything is basically the same. And I actually smelt this in the shop of Mini and it smells unbelievable. It's like, see what I mean? Like the lid and everything is like the exact same as like MAC. The packaging is the exact same thing as MAC, but three pound. <laughs> It smells like holiday. The mist is unbelievable. It smells amazing. <laughs> so it's got um, hyaluronic acid and coconut oil in it as well. So I think it's just meant to just be like a bit of like a refreshener. Like it says priming spray on the back. Um, but yeah, instant hydration. So I'm gonna let that dry and then I'm gonna stick some lashes on and I shall show you in a moment, in a minute, in a minute. Them lashes were actually horrendous. So I've been them i've had to redo my concealer and highlight and blusher and stuff because it just got mascara everywhere if you are going to wear them lashes you have to have um a thick wing because the band is so thick i've tried cutting it i tried bending it and everything and it just looks an absolute mess so i'm going to put some different lashes on and i'll be back anyway. so instead i've gone in with the exo beauty the rebel lashes instead um these are really cute they wouldn't actually be ones that I would pick personally if I saw them like in the box but I actually really like them on and um, that's from Shanexo um 
like brand. I don't know if you know. If you're like, so you will do because she's like massive on YouTube. So this is the finished makeup look. I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope you enjoyed it first impressions. I haven't done one of these for so long. I actually really enjoyed filming it. They just take so long to film <laughs> but I do hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up and leave a little comment down below if any kind of products that you want to do a first impressions on or anything like that because I will totally do it for you. Thank you so much for watching. I'll hopefully see you when I next upload. I do upload on Wednesdays, Fridays and Sundays, 6 o'clock UK time. So I'll hopefully see you then. Um, thank you so much. And I shall see you another day, hopefully. Bye. <laughs>